guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Hello, I'm Sierra. If you're new to my channel and if you're a returning subscriber, hello and welcome back. So a week ago, Jason, my boyfriend and I, we adopted a cat and we are so excited to introduce her to you on today's video. Um, I hadn't made a video about it or even posted on Instagram stories or feed posts or anything about her yet just because I've been spending time with her and we've been getting to know her and like taking pictures and we took her to the vet and I've been, you know, still going to work and going about my life. But I'm really excited to introduce her to you. Her name is Violet and she is a six-year-old rescue. We got her from an animal shelter. Originally, Jason and I talked about getting a kitten, but something that we were really strongly, that we felt really strongly about was that we definitely wanted a rescue. We're really um, passionate about adopting animals that already need homes instead of participating in the breeder scene. I'm a huge advocate for adopting animals from shelters. So we got a six-year-old cat. Um, she's female. She's a Russian blue um, domestic short hair mix, I think. She looks super like a Russian blue, but um, we don't really know. We don't have any documentation. So before I introduce her to you on camera right here, I'm going to show you a little clip that we took from when we first adopted her last week and released her into our house. It is the cutest thing. All right, here is the big moment. You want to move her little strap or there you go. Oh, hi, baby. Hi, I know this is a lot. Oh, welcome. Hi. Oh, I couldn't quite reach. Hi, baby. Welcome to your new home. I know there's a lot of smells. She matches our furniture perfectly. Hi, baby. Oh, she makes me so happy already. You don't know what to do. Oh wow, okay, off you go. Jason and I have been wanting a pet for a really long time. We've been living together since mid-July, so it's been some time now. Um, we love our place, we love living together, and we just kind of felt like the next step would be getting a pet. We both also really like dogs. Jason's more of a dog person and I'm more of a cat person, um, but we just thought, especially because we're both really busy and work multiple jobs, that cats are more self-sufficient, dogs need a little more hands-on care, so we thought a great place to start would be with a kitty. So let's go meet Princess Violet. Her full name is Her Royal Highness Princess Violet, um, but we have lots of versions on the nickname like Vi, Princess Vi, Miss Vi, Miss V, Meowser, Miss Meows a lot, Chirpy, because she chirps when she meows instead of meowing really. It's kind of like a burp, 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 burp. Anyway, let's go meet Violet. Miss, so for your first camera introduction, you've decided to hide in my closet. Hello, Violet. We, uh, I have these little storage bins that I keep in my closet here to keep extra, clo extra clothes, and uh, she's discovered that they make a very nice prop for her little kitty bed, and then there are my <laughs> shirts hanging there. Miss Vi, say hello to my channel. All right, so uh, we're gonna start the calendar shoot right now of hot guys and cats. If you haven't met Jason before, this is my boyfriend, Jason. Hello. And this is our baby. <gasps> Look at you, you're so beautiful. So this is why I think she's a Russian blue because she has all the characteristics. She's got those gorgeous green eyes. She has the very soft, short fur that's got like the silver tips, like her little feet are completely silver. Your little feet. I apologize, like sorry not sorry for all of the baby talk. Um, I like can't help talking in the most obnoxious baby voice when I'm talking to her because she's just a little baby. She's so cute. And even though she's six years old, we'd completely treat her like a kitten baby because she is our little kitten baby. Look at you. Her eyes are so beautiful. In some light they look a little more yellow, but in bright light they just look super green. She has these chubby cheeks that I just love. So when we first got little Violet, she only liked to hang out in that closet where we first saw her today. That one over there. And she's actually really good at opening doors, so she's good at breaking into She's so smart. She can open like any closet door, any cabinet, any kitchen cabinet. But we were a little worried that she didn't like us because she would spend a lot of the day just sleeping in there and not really coming out, only to eat every once in a while. But now, in the past couple days, she's gone. Oh, hello. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, oh, oh we're doing a stretch. We're doing a stretch. Look at you. Hmm. Oh, oh, little baby. 
Sorry, I'm sitting like right in the sun here, so it's very bright on my face. I look a bit like a ghost, so boo. Um, but they, the shelter said, and I know this from adopting other animals with my family in the past, that it can sometimes take up to a month for cats to get comfortable in their new environment. And it's really only been, it's been exactly one week because I'm filming this Friday and we got her last Friday, the 21st. So it's really only been one week and she's super comfortable now, which I love. And like, I mean, look at her. She's so comfortable. And I'm gonna take you on a little tour here and show you her little spots, her favorite things to do, um, and a few additions that we've made to our apartment. Cause I mean, I made an apartment tour video back in July when we moved in and we've made a lot of changes since then. So I'm gonna give you a few little updates as well. So this is Meet the Kitty and an apartment update. So uh, let's go check it out. So first thing I'm gonna show you is our bedroom. Again, we were just here with Jason and the cat. Now, if you remember from my old videos, we had the bed over here, um, and I had just gotten so tired of it, the feng shui was off, I didn't like it, so um, we have now moved the bed against this wall, which feels so much better, um, and we have this nice bright window here. I used to have my vanity in this window, but I, I just kind of decided to move it, um, so it has a little more of a permanent location now um, up against this wall right here, um, which is nice because now the little Venetian blinds don't get in the way. Um, we currently have a step stool here because Violet loves to clum come and lie in the windowsills, and if we don't have something there, she jumps on the nightstand and knocks everything off it, including our water glass that happened at 2 a.m. last night, so that is currently there. Um, Little vanity is up here against the wall, which is actually nice. I still get the bright light from the window, but now I can push things up against the wall and put stuff up on the walls, which is really nice. Um, and then we put our dresser over here. It's a bit of a dresser and a bookshelf right now, but we wanna get a bookshelf at some point and we move the rug at the foot of the bed, which goes underneath the dresser and the bed, which is nice, keeps it nice and symmetrical. And then we have a full length mirror. Hello, it's me and Jason and Violet, and our stuffed sheep named yeah. Baba. Yeah. So yeah, it's nice. Um, I like it a lot better. It feels much more open in this area, and the feng shui is just much more symmetrical, which is nice. Bye. Oh, little baby. She wants to sleep. All right, so in our living room here, this looks pretty similar. Um, we've made a few nice little changes though. We got some floating shelves off Amazon that I absolutely love. Um, the decor style we're kind of going for is sort of like a rustic farmhouse industrial kind of thing. Please ignore the fact that these are dying. I need to replace those. They looked very nice when they were all in bloom. Um, but we got three floating shelves. You can arrange them whichever way you want. We kind of did like a like asymmetrical, but still these lines are aligned and same with those, which is nice. So really like those color coded my books to match and everything. So very happy. Um, we got a little plant here, a little house plant. Got that at Trader Joe's. My mom sent me those plant stands. Um, got a little area for Violet over here. This is sort of our library area that we have set up. Um, we got our scratching post and then we put her a little soft bed underneath the chair, which she loves because she feels very private and secluded. Um, this is the same. These couches are the same. Um, got another little house plant right here. Really like that. Also got that at Trader Joe's. And then this is another area that I really like that I've set up. We got this beautiful gold mirror on Amazon. It's super heavy, so we had to anchor it to the wall with that mount thing up there and use the little white plastic things that you put around screws to make it extra sturdy. Um, and then I made this little display here with this lantern from Ikea. I put little tea lights in there and I light them and it's really nice. Um, has a little glow from the little star holes. And then I put flowers in here. I keep rotating them. My favorite are carnations, um, which I know are a little bit of of a toxicity to cats, so um, she hasn't jumped up there or done anything with them lately, but I am being very careful with that and researching that all of our plants and everything that we get is pretty cat friendly. Um, so I'm definitely being careful about that, but I love the way the carnations look with the green and the white in the mirror. It's very nice. I'll back up so you can, oh, I just tripped on a mouse on the ground. And yeah, these guitars are Jason Nice guitars. We just bought some guitar mounts and we're gonna actually mount the guitars up on the wall. Um, and I'm gonna move that picture. And then our dining room table, we have this new pretty, pretty dining room centerpiece that our friend Layla got us. Um, and we have some more flowers here that I put. And it's really pretty, has some nice coasters. And then the last thing is we replaced that black metal shelf that used to be here. And we got a four rung uh, industrial looking ladder shelf. It definitely matches our floating shelves over there with the wood and the black 
metal and it looks really nice with Jason's speakers here. He has these vintage speakers and radio set, which kind of makes it all look like one set. Um, it's still a little bit hectic. I would like to get it a little more calm as far as the organization, but it's doing much better. Down here I have a cooling and charging rack for my laptop, then we have our printer, then we have the stereo um, and Jason's laptop. We have storage for pencils and sunglasses and our charger and whatnot, and then we have pens and dry erase markers and scissors and things like that. So, and then over here have some extra books and candles and then candles and flowers as well. So now it is Sunday. I am still in my pajamas, which are Jason's clothes um, and it's like 6 p.m. Um, I've just been hanging out today. Um, I took like three different naps. We had some people over last night to celebrate leap day. You can hear Violet running around in the background. She's got the zoomies right now. That's what I call it when she uh, runs around the house with bursts of energy. Violet, come here. I don't know what she's doing. I guess we'll find out. Um, but I'm gonna upload this vlog right now. Um, it's a little bit late, but I'm still gonna upload it on Sunday um, because that is the day I try to upload videos. Um, so thanks so much for watching my super short little vlog, getting to meet our Princess Violet, who we love so much. Let's go see what she's up to before I end the vlog. There's my little kitty. There's my little kitty. Hey, do you wanna say bye? To the people of YouTube, <laughs> you want to say bye? But yeah, I've napped like three times today and uh, I'm feeling super awake now. I'm having a coffee and waking up because um, Josh Frankowski, you guys know Josh, one of my best friends ever. He's in a lot of these vlogs. Um, his birthday is today, um, March 1st, and he is having a little birthday party tonight and it's at 10. So I got a rally and you know get dressed and take a shower and wake up um, after having my three naps today. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, check out my socials, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!